Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Pretorius. This is part five of the 1865 live stream by Owen Benjamin. Completely understandable. If not, I think he actually handled himself quite well. If someone made a shirt with my birthday, I mean, it's just insane. Like that, that actually, um, yeah, it's hard to upset a robot. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, that actually constitutes like getting a little aggressive when, if, if that was really what I was doing is actually kind of uh, understandable. Okay. So I am going to be doing another anarchist stream later today to educate an old white guy about the role of government. I have a, uh, one letter, uh, I have a couple letters, and we'll call it a day. If you, hey, listen, I got one letter today, and it had a generous little, uh, generous little super chat in which I do appreciate, but, uh, you know, one letter, great, you guys can get a nice hour. I feel like that's my contractual obligation with unauthorized and everything. Um, yeah. You want more? Well, then you can fucking send letters. P.O. Box 490, Sam.0, 8364. I died imagine. <coughs> Excuse me. That is the theme the theme of Owen Benjamin's live streams. Not 100%, but I would say probably 65% of what I've seen. You ungrateful sons of bitches, you need to give me more money. <laughs> Is pretty much what he's saying. And I'm sorry that I said that more vulgarly than what Owen just said it. I apologize about that, but... I mean, it is a whole lot of verbal abuse, and he does that in order. It's it's like an abusive relationship. It's not like abuse of, an abusive relationship. It is an abusive relationship. We've all seen people get into relationships, and it's a slow burn. You see the 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 spouse uh, start acting in a certain way to where, or uh, not a spouse, but a, a boyfriend girlfriend type situation, to where just slowly but surely. And even friendships do this. Employers do this. To where they just start treating them just little by little, seeing what they can get away with. And as of now, I don't... I, Owen might actually go through those steps now, but not near as much as he used to. Right after the falling away uh, during the... Uh, the uh, Made by Jim Bob... Um, Saga. He did have a couple of live streams where he was pretty much just nice and understanding to his listeners, but it's always that baseline of give me money or I'm going to treat you like crap. Give me because what he, he always claims to say, I'm one of the hardest working podcasters, live streamers out there. I do it every single day, three hours, every single day, unless he's not getting what he wants. And then it's verbal abuse and um, you can get an hour is what you can get my almonds getting activated that hard i don't know what almonds mean outlaw country where's the stream tonight uh it'll everything i ever do goes to unauthorized.tv so you never have to hunt it down uh it's not going to be live he's going to post it this weekend and uh yeah even though i prefer live hey big bear seeker bear here out of vero beach florida i thought it was time to and that's one thing that you have to look forward to if you're if you're a, a content creator and you're going to do a live stream with owen he's not going to push yours your channel at all, even though that's generally the, uh, the handshake agreement that most podcasters have is you come onto my podcast and I'll tell people where they can find you. Or if I go on yours, I'll tell them where they can find you and where they can find me. But no, it's always, um, unauthorized that way, Mr. Uh, Oh, I said his name earlier. I can't think of it. Something bell. Another letter since my last one was in June of 2021. Please accept this grabble as a token for my sincerest appreciation and thanks for how much you're helping me or you help me. Looking back at, on when I first started listening to you in 2017, it is now clear to me that you and Vox Day were synced into my life at the perfect time for me and my. That's who I was talking about. Awakening. I'm 45 now and I've never felt better, stronger, and more confident than I do today. I no longer consume pornography, alcohol, or weed, which were mainstays in my life for more than 20 years. Uh, most importantly for me, I no longer fight with my wife the way I used to. I stopped expecting her to change, and I did the work on myself instead of trusting that all would fall into place if I led properly and behaved as a proper man in gratitude to God and the blessings he has always provided me with. This is beautiful, man. Okay, so is this a, tr a real letter? Possibly. But this is an example of good things happening in spite of Owen and not because of Owen. He, he picks those universal truths. Hey, man, don't don't fight with your wife. Don't treat her like crap. Uh, don't be an alcoholic. Don't smoke uh, drugs. Don't do, do all of the good things that everybody understands. And he'll use that in order to rope people in. Give it. Give me money because like th that's where you got the goodness. And I think God, some good comes out of it. But it's always in spite of Owen and not because of Owen. 
happy yet. Since I know he's most likely going to hear this as well, Gardner, thanks for your help. The Celestic profile we did has provided a lot of clarity to me on this new path. I have put myself on in your interview with Marzinski, directed me to Mace, which was also quite helpful in clearing up some nagging experiences from my past. In fact, it was so helpful to me, I'm enrolling in their training program to learn how to practice this method to help others clear the negative energies they hold on to from the past. Athen Clemente's readings are also quite powerful. That's nice. Rice and Schizo Moment has me rolling. That's all activated almonds and Schizo Oh, okay. All right, some nice uh, super chats here. A good name for a movie about a stolen bike held ransom is Proof of Bike. That's really funny, Pickle Bear. We're thinking of uh, just, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to name it because I don't want anyone to steal it. But we have a funny name. And then Salty Scotch with a very generous, both of you guys have very generous super chats. And I split that with Coddington. I pay Rumble. I pay Entropy. I pay taxes. And then what's left over, it goes to, uh, you know, making my life a little more beautiful. So thank you. <laughs> Can we address why Bryson would get on a live stream with a crazy white dude who made a show? He likes me as a comedian. Like, that's the thing is he was like, he was like, man, I used to watch your stream, your, your shows. Like, you're funny. No, imagine if, like, guys, I'm somewhat famous. I'm not, like, an A-lister. I'm not, like, a Bill Burr or a Joe Rogan. But, like, I'm a known comic. Like, I'm, I was a headlining comedian for 16 years. So imagine if you have, like, a relatively famous comedian with your birth. He was. He was a relatively famous comedian, but he was never a headlining comedian, especially for 16 years. He was an open. He, this was at his heyday. He was an opening act for Impractical Jokers. And I didn't even know that until the last six, seven months. And I was a fan of his comedy. But as far as a headliner, I mean, I remember an episode of uh, the Rogan experience. Shane and I think his name's Matt were on there and they were talking about this headliner that Shane had opened for. And he was a headliner. I guess you would call him a headliner because he headlined, which sure, I guess in that context. But he was a guitar uh, comedian. And... So I guess in some context, he could have been an, uh, a headliner. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're touring stadiums. Day on his shirt and a bike the day after he randomly called you a bike thief because you bragged about having a heterosexual father. It's fucking hysterical. It really is like I'm not just a random crazy person. Like I'm known. I have a large audience. I'm a respected comedian. My life has been very interesting. He's just a known crazy person. Right. So it's like. It's like, it did seem a little crazy that I would put his birthday on my shirt and just go that hard in the paint when, like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> As a black, I think he was crazy. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's really funny. And yeah, maybe there was, was a little bit of like, yo, check yourself. You want to brag about having a straight dad? Okay, well, good for you. Must be nice. How about you return the bike? And I'd like to see your dad's search history, by the way, Bryson. Everybody's so confident they have a straight dad, right? Well, I can uh, do a quick forensic analysis of his computer, and then we'll figure out who's got a straight dad. My dad isn't even that gay. He's, like, gay. But, like, it's, like, a weird, secrety. I just think he's a, a, a little lying guy that got his hand in some cookie jars. He's not, like, I mean, there's there's gayer guys, you know? <laughs> and I think a lot of these guys, their dads are way gayer. They just Okay, talking about <laughs> the way that he's talking about this, and if you know the history between him and his dad, whenever I watched Owen, listened to Owen years ago, I remember the first time that there was a live stream where he had his mom and his dad on and my first imp I almost, I don't know if I was going to super chat it or just make a comment. I almost made a comment saying, dude, I think your dad's a little, I think your dad's gay. And it's because of how gay his dad is and how butch his mother was or is. And then whenever I came back and was looking back into it and all of this had come out and that whole thing, I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's insane. I don't know it. You know, I just do the research. Okay. Uh, three guys, Combat Bear, Grid Voice. Three, three years ago, we stormed the desert for the bankers. NW, whoa. Now we went to the moon to play golf. Do not F with the Bertari intelligence. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you do have a reputation. Yeah. Do not F with the Bertari intelligence. That is their uh, FBI, kind of. That's what they use in order to intimidate and uh, seek out information of their quote-unquote enemies. What if we did a shirt with you and Bryson and the bike and the date? I feel like we should celebrate this. Oh, I mean, that's really funny. I don't know. Just put another dude on a shirt. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Putting a guy's face on a shirt's gay. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. It'll just look like we're gay guys. It's like trying to get a guy to wear a shirt with a guy's face on it. It's not, you know, especially a black guy and a white guy. Like, you know, there's already a bike on a shirt. A black person would be redundant. Good, good call, Godworth. 
Since, all right, um, for those that are skeptical about astrology, true sidereal that like practiced by Gardner and Athen, I'd like to quickly put into perspective what it's like when you are read by a skilled master like Gardner and Athen. You are listening to somebody tell you about yourself and find yourself saying things like that explains that, or I've always wondered why I felt about that way, or that's why I like dislike people like that, or my favorite is, I always had a feeling that I should be involved in doing that. Uh, but by the way, buy the shirts we currently have. They're great. Uh, C. Cal runs it. He's crushing. It's merchforbears.com, and we will keep making new stuff. I love that C. Cal has that, that enthusiasm to come out with new merch. I just have to push back on a black guy's face on a fucking shirt. Even a white guy's. Like, I don't want to put my face on a shirt. There's something, there's something a little gay about it. I'm surprised soccer shirts don't have blokes' faces on them. I mean, it's one thing to put a guy's name on your back. I mean, that's almost like holding his pocket, you know? But if you put his face, I mean, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Of course not. Come on. Um, where am I? Our, um, it is hard to accept that when we were conceived in our mother's womb and 280 days later, our first breath in the realm under the star, sun, and moon has brought with it the energies that have long been associated. It's certainly not for me. Thank you for all you do for us, Big Bear. May God continue to bless you and your beautiful family. Seeker Bear. Thank you, Seeker Bear. You were very generous, too. And yeah, just look at today's thing. Bryson Gray, a black, was born the day my bike was stolen. And it happened to be my birthday. 33 years later, on the 24th, we fight it out on a Twitter space. How the fuck is that explainable outside of, like, there are metaphysical... I know that what I've just presented is ridiculous and comedic and great and all that. But seriously, though, like, we are in a clock. Like, there are forces at work that we're not fully aware of. What's up with people in the hood wearing size four X? I'm not saying that that's not necessarily false. I'm not saying that it's not true. But the problem, whenever you have somebody like Owen Benjamin, who is somewhat a charismatic leader, that's what a cult leader is. They got to be charismatic, and they got they have to be able to use some kind of universal truth in order to manipulate some form of uh, some some group of people in order to follow them unconditionally. And give them money because they don't even the merch. He's not even creating the merch himself. Like me, me personally, I've got books that I've written. I've got short stories that I've written. I've got poetry that I've written. I've got music that I've written. Not one time have I ever said, hey, guys, go buy this. I've pushed a little bit the uh, uh, what is that? The Patreon. And I've put out the, the, the cash app. But I mean, as far there, I, you can call me a hypocrite, I guess. But even me, that's got some form of of something to sell. I haven't really sold it, you know. There are, and the reason, one of the reasons why I've put out the Patreon and the Cash App, especially whenever I was doing it all the time, uh, doing videos all the time, is because people would legitimately ask, "Hey, where can where, what what can we do to help to show some su- support?" But somebody like Owen, who literally has nothing besides sitting in front of a camera, rambling on about different things that he takes from other people. That's just uh, that's cookie cutter cult leader right there. Somebody that doesn't really have any substance except for some universal truths. And then expect something for that. I'll share it with Tweety Bird. I don't know. I, we are going to be making a height supremacist shirt, and the smallest is going to be a large. Have we done that yet, Seacow? We're going to do uh, height supremacist shirts, and we will not sell any less than a large. We will not be mocked by the short men of this world. Uh, so you have to be at least a large to buy it. Um, and yeah, they say height supremacist. Uh, what's our status on height supremacist? They're for tall people. You can even. That sounds like a, a weight supremacist. <laughs> There's, I've seen tall people that wear mediums. I don't know if I've ever seen a tall, like a super tall person wear a small, but I don't know. That's weird. Be black. Okay, this is Canadian H. Back Bear. I didn't read his letter yet, and I apologize. Dearest Big Bear, I've wanted to write again for a while now. How many synchronicities is going to be in this letter? The one that he said, I haven't read this yet, and I apologize. Now, and after receiving your Christmas card recently, I just want to say thank you. Um, you have a beautiful family, all smiles, all healthy, all white, just great. Not yet, we need a design. I think we're down to three. Just pick one. We're good. I think uh, we have like a few designs. See, Kyle? Uh, I can't really hear all that well, so I might be mistaken. But did the guy just say, I'm glad that you have all your children that are white? I'm going to have to rewind that. Um, you have a beautiful family, all smiles, all healthy, all white. Just great. Okay, so is that a long running joke? Is that a joke just because his children are not white? Because his wife isn't white, so therefore his kids are not white. 
to me, does it matter at all? No, but it's kind of weird to have a wife that's not white and children that are not white and claim they're all white. That's super weird, especially if it's done seriously. It's honestly kind of funny if it's not, but even then it's still kind of weird. Design. I think we're down to three. Just pick one. We're good. I think uh, we have like a few designs. See, Kyle, everyone trusts you. Just no black or white. Just no dudes on it, and we're good. Women's only in small. No, no. Nothing smaller than a large. Nice try, though. Nice try, Earth Diesel. Nice try to sneak your way in there with a girl's shirt. I'll take an XL, says Jack about it. Yeah, and you'll look like a little kid in it, and that's the whole point. Like you, I'm a white enthusiast. That's great. Hang on one second. Uh, calling out from work because of a fever was not very heterosexual. Thank God there's a cure. Thanks, Sam Wigger Bear. Evening, my niggles. Grateful to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. Dude, today's one of those streams that's just absolutely for the record books. And I might only do, like, legitimately an hour. So I did an hour with a black. I'm going to do an hour with a, a fucking anarchist. That's how I think, by the way. It's not that I'm trying to be mean about the black. When I say Bryson, it sounds like it's a white kid from a fucking cul-de-sac, not a up-and-coming independent rapper. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with me, dude? <laughs> you guys know it's funny, though, dude. You guys know it's fucking funny. Okay. I hate the cultures of usury and bike theft, Ira. So you hate us? You, you hate the Jews and the blacks? <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, Ira is his alter ego or some form of demonic entity that possesses him and that he has allowed to speak through him. <laughs> and, yeah. Active bear per se, but I have the Bertaria app. Yeah, really use it. Let's get you on there more. Come on, get enthusiastic. I never get to catch live streams. I've never been to a meetup. These are all fine things. Maybe I should make an effort. Maybe. I mean, you sound very happy. I mean, bringing HVACs to people is, it's, it's fucking great. Just keep working. All I do is work. Um, all right, moving on. Speaking of cheers, in a synchronistic way, I started learning it on piano just before it was our new intro. What a great song. I started teaching myself eight months ago. I don't read sheet music, so I figured I would do it with piano. When I play the intro and realize I can't read sheet music, it definitely makes me feel like I'm crushing. Good for you. Um, all right, anyway. Uh, it's a nice balance. I don't know if it was gay saying I enjoy letting my softer side come out, <laughs> but I am preemptively going to pay that gay away. I'll include some silver with this letter. Besides being real currency, silver destroys germs, bacteria, viruses, is a great electrical conductor, and also burns the hands of homosexuals who touched it. <laughs> it's geniusly funny. Very true. Have you ever seen a gay holding a silver coin? I rest my case. It's so true, dude. I didn't know that about silver, about the killing germs and stuff. I thought that was brass. That's why they have brass doorknobs and brass railing in the subways and I might even be wrong about brass or is it copper? I think it's brass. I'm not too sure. Um, in the last letter, I was going to church and trying to be a good Christian. I know God is real and he's made his presence known in my life. I've since abandoned going to church, but still seek God. I never feel like I can be myself at church. Ends. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people can, I'm not knocking church, but I've had a similar experience and also have some issues with their doctrine. How dare you? Um, you can't say, uh, basically, I believe a lot of the Bible is true, but also I've been, it has been grappled a little bit. You can't say that, though. I think some of the old uh, depictions of God are projections from our own ego. There's no way the creator of every fucking thing that exists would be jealous, overly emotional, arbitrarily choose one group over another. Just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's like how it, it looks to somebody that's that's behaving badly. Oh, you're just jealous of me and my butt pumping. Like, imagine, like, say you're living in Sodom. It's like, oh, you're, you're just jealous and angry because I'm so special. It's like, it's like no. <laughs> like, it's because you've gone so... While he's talking right there, why why did he go quiet whenever he said Sodom? That was interesting. So far out of the natural order that you're just going to get wiped. Okay. Uh, is the stream BB is doing after this going to be live stream? No, he'll put it up later and then we'll put it at unauthorized. Everything I ever do will be at unauthorized.tv. I, I try not to limit any material for you guys uh, so that people that can't afford the $5 a month um, can still have access to the gravy. But I like to give benefit to people that pay. I don't want it to just be like, you know, you do it because you know it's right. But I also want to give you a great product. And one of the conveniences is everything I've ever done will always just be in one spot. And so that's why we do that. Uh, Yahweh is Satan. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not making that claim at all. I'm saying that, like, you will project that. Oh, you guys get it. I'm not repeating it again. I do, however, think Jesus is real. He is my savior. And I think he really cleared things up from the older depictions of God. Yeah, I totally agree. His importance cannot be spoken of adequately enough by myself alone. Yeah, you're definitely getting it. I will respect the one page rule and wrap it up. There's one more. So is he actually Christian now again? Or is he just agreeing because somebody gave him silver? Because it's clear to me, at least, that 
throughout the videos that I've seen, one of the reasons why he turned his back on Christianity is because somebody gave him silver and said, hey, stop talking about Jesus. One thing I want to mention, I have two weeks vacation. I'm celebrating my 42nd. Um, I want to go to Antarctica. Any suggestions? I mean, yeah, they don't let you go. I mean, you can try it out. I'm in an ancient uh, civilization and their building structures, not into cruises, but don't want a resort drunk a Palooza fest. I want a real experience. I was actually considering going to Texas and going to comedy mothership for Kill Tony. You know that weird gay comedian born in Rogan's ass and is mean to people? They select random people to perform one minute of stand up. I'm a former correctionals officer, so I can take mean comments, no problem. I have a hard time with public speaking, though, and I, I had an embarrassing thing happen at work. I had a panic attack or something else gay, so I really want to redeem myself. That could be fun for you. There's a lot of, uh, I think there's some cool ancient shit in Texas. It's just like, they're going to try and. That's awesome. That's awesome right there that they mentioned Kill Tony, that they that he mentioned going to Texas, that he mentioned going to Joe Rogan's club. And so far, I'm, mind you, I paused it shortly after he started talking. But for him not to be extraordinarily negative right out the bat, I think that's some growth. Dang it, though. So, like, watch out for that. I'm serious. But um, anyway, I want to be in an extremely uncomfortable position. What do you say? You know? There's a lot of, uh, I think there's some cool ancient shit in Texas. It's just like, they're going to try and bang you though. So like, watch out for that. I'm serious. But um, anyway, I want to be in an extremely uncomfortable position. Oh, they'll put you in an uncomfortable position. All right. There's usually 200 names they choose from. So I probably wouldn't even get a shot. If I'm truly committed, I can also do a local club where I live. Maybe I can watch a bunch of comedians and have a good time somewhere that isn't cold for my birthday. Thanks again for the card. Continue crushing and inspiring. Our culture is the best culture. Take care and may you and your family prosper in 2024. Canadian. That dude sounds like a cool dude. It sucks that he's wrapped up the whole Owen Benjamin Bear Colt stuff. But he sounded like a, a, a cool guy. Um, I hope he has a good birthday. And that sounds like a good birthday, too. Going to watch some stand-up com- comedians. HVAC bear. Oh, awesome letter, man. Anybody in the chat have any uh, any recommendations for his uh, for his vacation? Hey, hey John, I got another zinger. Uh, John. I mean, I, listen, that could be fun for somebody, but I just think it's, you know, it's just being around that amount of gay. It's just like, ugh. J-Rock, I consider rap to be N music. The good parts were usually taken from other people. Exactly. Okay, I'm landing the plane. Uh, Cod, we caught up. Unauthorized.tv, PO Box 490, Sandpoint, Idaho, 8364. Uh, Entrybestream.live slash app slash Benjamin Comedy, Britaria, Campgrounds.com, merch for... It's so weird that he says that, to be around that much gay, but then he forces you to... Li- well, he doesn't force you. You tune in. Like Nobody's forcing me to, to break these videos down or whatever. But with how much gay stuff that comes out of his mouth... And then say being around that much gay, like for for what he talks about to be revolving around just the the thing of gay homosexuality. So much of his content is wrapped around that between his father and his comments and all that kind of stuff. It's just so weird. Bears dot com. And uh, if you like the stream and want to share it, please do. I'm still not allowed on YouTube because it's run by a dirty Pajit that probably eats his own shit. And uh, that's it. Thank you all for attending. I mean, and thanks to the stream I did with Bryson earlier. That really made my day. I loved it. Uh, Israel says Toronto Drew Bear. Nice try, Toronto Drew Bear. Nice try. You want to be around a gaggle of homos, minus Yogi Bear, minus Samson the Great Bear. You want to be around a bunch of fucking homos? That's Israel. That Dead Sea? That ain't salt. That's gum. Man, I have a blast. Just because I have a blast doesn't mean I don't work hard, by the way. So don't, so don't, don't forget that. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be fruitful, multiply. Don't be freaking boy guy. Yeah. So that was around an hour, just under an hour of Owen Benjamin. Being Owen Benjamin, no, I don't really have any thoughts about any of it. It's just, I mean, it's the same stuff over and over again. I stopped listening to him for about a month or so or whatever, a month and a half. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, it's the same stuff over and over again. It's an interesting, at the very least to me, it's an interesting scenario to watch somebody like Owen, who is most definitely, in my opinion, most definitely a predatorial, dangerous cult leader, and watching them do what they do and are able to get away with and still have people actually giving them money and silver and gold or whatever. It's interesting. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.